Okay, so we've learned how to apply borders to single cells in Excel files. But what if you want to apply a border that goes across multiple columns in your Excel file? This is a much more common situation. Say you have a table and it has a bunch of headers and you want to apply a style to them so they're singled out. So you, the viewer of your table knows, okay, these are the column headers of the data. Well, we're going to do the same operation we did for bordering single cells, but we're going to do it within a loop that applies this operation over and over again to each one of the columns in the range that we're interested in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the Excel SX Writer module, create a workbook, a worksheet, and we have our column headers, and we have the border format that we want to use. So these column headers here are going to be included. We have crew ID, first name, and age. There's three of them, so it's a pretty small table, but we do have everything we need to start building the loop. Now the first component of, of this loop is going to be where the table is located vertically in our Excel file. So we're going to give it a row index. I'm going to set that equal to 1, which means that our table is going to start at the second row in our Excel file. Because in computer science, if you remember, you start counting at 0, so the first row has the index of 0, and the second row has the index of 1. And then we need a start column. Now the start column, that tells us where we are horizontally in the table. So if I give it a start column of 2, for example, well, if you think about it, uh, A has the index of 0, B has the index of 1, and then C has the index of 2. So our table starts at column C. Finally, we have the end column, which is uh, going to depend on two things. It's going to depend on how many elements do we have in our table, how many header elements are there, and what our start column is. So it's going to be offset by the start column, and it's going to range as far as the number of elements that we have in our list here. So we have the start column plus the length of our column headers. Great, so now we're ready to create the loop. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying Within the range that goes from the start column to the end column, I want to capture each one of those numbers and I'm going to set them equal to the column index. Let me print that so it's super, keep, super clear. 2, 3, 4, right? So our table is going to range between the columns 2, 3, and 4. So we're ready to actually apply the borders to each one of these columns. That happens in much the same way we did for individual cells. We're going to need to access our worksheet. going to use the write function and it's going to take a row index, a column index, some data, and in this case um, it's going to be slightly tricky because we can't just use the column index. You'll notice the column index goes from 2, 3, and 4, right? So uh, if, we, if we tried applying the index of 4 to these column headers, we'd be way out here somewhere. It only has three elements, and those elements have the indexes 0, 1, and 2. So what we actually need to do is we need to take the column index minus the start column. Because remember, we're offsetting our table horizontally. In the first situation, in the, in the, in the first iteration of our loop, we're therefore going to have 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0, and that corresponds to this crew ID here, the header here, that has the index of 0 in our list of column headers. Finally, we need to apply the format that we want to apply to each one of these columns that we're looping through, and we have the header border format here. And that's it. If we now run this code, and if I close the workbook, we should now have an Excel file that includes these column headers and the borders that we were interested in creating. Let's open it. I'm going to open it through the terminal. You can just open it through Excel or, or, or OpenOffice if you have that. I'm in the terminal. I've navigated to the output folder. So I open that file, 
And there you have it. We have our table and the borders, as you can see, span across multiple columns. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that closer. See here? We have our first column uh, header name, crew ID, first name and age, and they all have this border format that we defined earlier on. So that's how you do it. That's how you apply borders across several columns in your Excel files.